on our way now to one of the world's most infamous and notorious prisons and island jails, Alcatraz. Enjoy the ride. people on the boat, so move in kind of close. Notice the sign up on top that says Indians welcome. They painted that. After the prison closed and before the National Park Service took over the island, it was deserted and the Indians took it over. The American Indians. It was quite a, quite a deal. Indians from all over the country came to join them. They were protesting the fact that the government had taken them off of the reservations and trying to meld them into normal society. Many of them were able to accomplish that, but many of them weren't. So that's what they were protesting. And it worked. After they were evicted here by U.S. Marshals 19 months later, a few months after that, Congress went into session and discussed a bill that would allow the Indians to go back and reclaim some of their original land. This was a Civil War fort back in the 1860s. Everything else was added on to it. Hi there and welcome to Alcatraz, one of the most infamous and notorious jails in the world. We're going to take a look around and look at the cells of criminals such as Al Capone. Enjoy the tour and don't stay too long, you might never get back. cells at the moment. This is in the isolation block. And it's pretty interesting. And Al Capone noticed, true story, that lots of children, small children, were dying on the streets, but there was food right there. He didn't understand it. So he started doing some inquiring, started doing some investigating, and he found out the prime reason that was happening is because kids were coming across milk that had been out for weeks, sometimes months, and drinking it. And it was full of bacteria, as you can imagine, and it was killing them. So once he found that out, Al Capone went to a large dairy in Chicago, personally walked into the chairman of the board's office, slammed his fist down on the table, and demanded that they start immediately putting an expiration date on the milk. Back then, milk was in a glass bottle with a little cardboard stopper in top, and they insisted that the dairy stamp a date on that stopper so that it would indicate it should not be consumed after that date. The dairy did it. All of a sudden, everybody started doing it, and now every time you open your refrigerator and take out some milk, look at the expiration date, and think of Al Capone. That was his idea. There you go. The trivia of the day. Okay. Thank you. 
And over there we've got one of the former prisoners from the island. <coughs> Well, that's our tour of Alcatraz over for another day. We're going to head and make a bid for freedom right now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the visit, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm afraid. Because it's broken, it's broken.